Natural gas is used for two main purposes. One is heating homes and the other is for generating electricity. That's in terms of the volume use. In terms of the number of points of application of things like domestic water heating and cooking on gas stoves are equally important. Natural gas is 95% methane. We're very concerned about emissions during the process of extracting it from the ground, transmitting it through pipelines, processing it, and then delivering it to customers. As we lose gas to the atmosphere, a number of things happen. One is an economic loss, it's valuable. Uh, another thing is it's a greenhouse gas, and the long wave radiation that's warming the surface and leading to climate warming is a certain amount is due to CO2 and about a quarter or a third as much is due to methane. So it's a pretty close second. It's a significant factor. So we are measuring greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So we use the sun as a background source, and as it flows down through the atmosphere, uh, the various trace gases in the atmosphere interact with that sunlight. And when we measure the solar spectrum down here at the ground, we actually see fingerprints of the various trace gases in the atmosphere. We measure from here because it's a very central location in the larger urban area. And then we make measurements both downwind and upwind of this location, depending on the weather conditions. We're here in Malden, uh, about 10 miles north of Harvard, uh, where we're going to launch this helikite balloon, uh, which is going to take some wind measurement data to help us with the atmospheric gas measurements that we're doing. The goal is to get this balloon up to about 100 meters so that it's above kind of the surface layer of winds uh, and is in sort of the more free layer, which is more accurate about how most of the wind is moving around the city. We're also interested in carbon dioxide emissions around the Boston area. And in this case, probably we do know what the total amount is, but we don't know where it's being burned. Every time you burn something for driving your car or heating your home or generating electricity, CO2 is produced. So by studying CO2 in the environment at the same time that we're doing methane, we're also able to get a unique picture of where pollutants are being emitted and CO2 is in some sense the common currency of all of the pollutants. What we hope to achieve is to develop methods to begin to understand for any city what is being emitted neighborhood by neighborhood. Currently we can't do that. And then of course the goal is to have an impact here in eastern Massachusetts. It's a, a way of uh, Harvard research if you will contributing to uh, benefit the citizens of the Commonwealth.